Good luck with that now then. Our next guest, Shot to Fame, is a no-nonsense, straight-talking fashion guru advising women on what's not to wear. Look at those sexy, juicy, gorgeous lips. Anything about your body that you don't like? No. Oh, oh girl. Girl. Once this is on, mm -hmm. do you think you might be slightly closer to finding Mr. Right? Hopefully. <gasps> That's so pretty. Yes, brilliant. So if confidence was sort of there before, where is it now? In, In this, this outfit, I yeah. feel like here. It's brilliant. It was so brilliant, that show. Compelling. Such a moment in yeah, time, too. Now, almost 30 years later, Trini is still determined to make people feel confident with the insights she shares on her brand new podcast. And we're delighted that the ever stylish and empowering Trini Woodhall is here this morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Did you say 30 or 13? I'm getting 30. it. 30. <laughs> it wasn't. Hold on to it. Yeah, it was. But it was such a moment, wasn't it? I remember it, everybody it talking about it. It was a moment. It's not a show you could do today, but I think... What it Why gave, do you think you can't do it today, Julie? Because I just feel that there were lots of things we did, like we put hidden cameras in people's bedrooms and things, <laughs> you know, so that you really couldn't do today. Privacy but, issues. Right, right, okay. <laughs> but I, I, what it gave me that, um, I think what I love most about it for me is it helped me understand women really well because we did it for so many years. Yes. And after we did it in England, when we stopped then doing telly in England because then other people came like Gok, who were really, you know, Brilliant. Yes. Um, and we were like naked. not flavour of the month. He was. We then went and took it to a very to Mipcom, which is a TV yeah. fair, and yeah. they bought it in like twelve countries. So we went to twelve countries to do it. And then I just found out whatever country I was in, and I was in Poland, Israel, Australia, America. Yeah. Women felt the same at different stages. Isn't that? And funny? you discovered what kind of stop them moving forward or yeah. what took away their confidence and it was about how you could build up a woman's confidence. Universal feelings though, no matter where you went in the world. No matter where you go. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, we're here to talk about so many things, but you've yeah. got the second series of your podcast, Fearless, yes. uh, which has been launched. One of the things That's I think right. that you've been really open about and talking clearly about is how imposter syndrome, some of the fears that you've faced in your life. Like We see you as this incredibly now so successful, confident. confident businesswoman who's created this brand that's just taking the world by storm. But you still struggle with some of those moments. I do, and, and I felt profound fear in different decades of my life, you know, in my 20s, addiction and trying to get clean. In my 30s, just, you know, would I ever be a mother? Mm -hmm. um, and just, just, you know, being in relationships that were or weren't great. You know, lots of things we all go through, but I think from each of those, I've learned things and worked on myself a bit, but met many people going back to that. And yes. with, the, with the podcast, I've met some very inspiring women who, you know, talk about how they overcome fear. And I think it's, for me, one of the most important things is how can we, if we're feeling fearful, like we talk about imposter syndrome. Yeah. yeah. And I feel... It's a terrible label. Nobody is an imposter. It's anxiety. It's mm. just you're anxious. You might be in a room where you feel you don't know enough and therefore you might not have the right to be there. So mm. in the book, and we talk about the imposter syndrome with Vizoma St. John, this incredible woman who ran marketing for Apple, Uber, everything, and how she had to deal with mm. feeling fearful yeah. and overcoming it. It's so interesting that it's those people that you would never think would ever have a problem with it at all. And yet you talk about it in your podcast too. I know that season two started last week, yeah. right? So what can people expect from this season? We've got very brilliant women and we've got Tim Spector, the yes. one or two token <laughs> men. But speaking, I mean, he's got an unbelievably unexpected fear as well, which is a fear of dying. And somebody who talks about, you know, about um, how to live a long life, to yeah. me that was a... Fear, but Bazoma St. John was amazing. Ryan, uh, Catherine Ryan was fantastic. Well, She's such so a good comedian. Yeah. And she can be very funny. So it's very interesting when you, you both interview a lot of people, mm. um, how when you get to the kind of detail and the depth of somebody and the humour strips away and you get a rawness. So it's, She's always it's, searingly honest as well. She is mm. so honest, but mm. honest in a way that you can... We can all be honest in a way that we can be so self-deprecating that we're hiding what we're really feeling. Mm. But we got to some good moments in the podcast, so I'm really excited for people to listen to it. It's been an extraordinary few years for you, though, Trini, because we don't see you on telly doing what not to wear and things like that anymore, but arguably you're even more successful than you ever have been with, with your brand and your makeup which has just been the most extraordinary story in such a short space of time. You now have 250 people working for you. Yeah. My cousins in Australia use all of your makeup and your skincare, and I just see it everywhere. I just think it's uh, that journey you've been on 
must have been remarkable to look back. I mean, what is it? How many years ago did you sort of? I had the idea for the business ten years ago, and it's been going six and a half years. But for me, it's a journey of learning to be a CEO, which right. I'd yeah. never trained to be. And you know, you start with six people around a kitchen table, and you know what's on everyone's laptop, and and. You know, that I speak to a lot of women and try, we try and do a lot to help women who want to start their own businesses as well. We do something called the elevator pitch on my mm. Instagram. But it's, you start with a little idea and, you know, if you have a little idea, you can take it to the moon and back. It's just little gentle baby steps built on bricks and not built on quicksand. Yeah. And having a good team around you. So, you know, at the beginning I did everything myself and now there's a fantastic team that I lead, but they are very talented and help them make the business. What I love about it as well is you were 50 when you started that yes. business. It's yes. never too late. It's never, never too late. late to have an idea. And people are quite judgmental as well. People can be a lot. When you go for investment, people said, you know, are you too old to start a business and things like that? And I was like, whoa. <laughs> or, uh, were they the investors that turned you down? Because they'll be kicking <laughs> themselves now. I'd they suggest, were. Really. And you always tell there was this woman I was with and she said, you'll tell because I was in a room, excuse me, I'm just going to do it. And they'll be listening to my pitch like this and she'll go, they'll never invest. Look at that body language. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And there was one woman there and she was leaning forward. And she sent me an email after saying, I know we turned you down, but can I invest? Yeah. You know, and I just thought... You know, you just, you always got to think that there will be somebody who will Never believe in an late. idea and you just have to have that faith in yourself. And I think in the book, um, I talk a lot about how can we get our faith in ourselves mm -hmm. that we can um, move forward. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is the book, Fearless, yes. which you can get right now. And the second series of the podcast was released last week as well. Dive into that. Uh, loads in there, Trinity. Never Congratulations. Too late. Thank you very much. Thank really, you. really lovely to see you. And by the way, The Ring. Yes. That, is that, is that that's, lip balm? That's a bit of lipstick and lip balm made by my best friend for my 50th birthday, actually. <laughs> that's so yeah. cool. That's <laughs> she could do some damage yeah, with that. Yeah. It's a very good tool at night. Yeah, I do a bit of damage. Yeah. Uh, Trudy, thanks so much. Thank you. Uh, right then, uh,